already. I'm finna give y'all a list of the top 10 racist states in the South. Don't come for me. This is just how I feel. Let's get it. Let's go, man. Coming in at number 10, Texas. Folks think Texas is so damn liberal. But it's not. Bro, your oppressor is going to be driving a pickup truck. Preferably a Ford F-150. Bro, we just like a, a Velcro. Everybody just seemed to get stuck to us, bro. You, Texas is mostly made up of Mexicans and black folks. And then you got the small towns where your rednecks reside. But all Texas residents know where not to go. Even if you've never been there. Bro, racism in Texas is tough because seeing that we was the last state in the South to free slaves. Coming in at number nine, Louisiana. Louisiana low-key racist depending on what parish you in. The only thing is, you might not understand a damn thing that some of them are saying, dog. Like, real talk, you've probably been racially profiled before, but it hit different when it comes from a middle-aged Caucasian Creole man. Like, real talk, in Louisiana, they might jig with you, then they might mess around and call you a jigaboo behind your back. Louisiana just one big, messy gumbo pot. Real talk, but they all put their differences aside for the love of food, music, and the love of the LSU Tigers. And then number eight, Tennessee. Now, Tennessee racism is a little different, especially out towards the hills. You might get racially profiled by a middle-aged man drinking moonshine. Hell, probably Jack Daniels' long-distance cousin. Or you might get a country western song made about the situation at hand. You just never know out there in Nashville. Bruh, besides Memphis and a couple of more black cities, if you look like me in certain parts of Tennessee, you just don't want to be. Number seven, Florida. Florida always in the news for some racist foolishness. Let's just move on. And then at number six, Georgia. See, y'all think because Georgia the peach state that everything just peaches and cream until you go down there and you get profiled by a dude that look like Joe Dirt. For real, don't be fooled, especially down there in Forsyth County. Look, Georgia is a beautiful state, but it do got its dark sides, man. And then at number five, South Carolina. If you don't see somebody driving a pickup truck with one arm hanging out the window flying a Confederate flag, then you ain't in South Carolina. South Carolina just low-key sad because they don't give a damn. But then again, who would willingly go to South Carolina? Like, unless you just got a scholarship to play for Clemson or somebody. Four, Alabama. See, we already know the backstory about Selma and the rest of the cities out there in Alabama. But see, they try to distract you with the Crimson Tide. You go down there if you want to, you get profiled by some big country bunker named Butch. And he been tossing baby bulls in the back of his daddy truck since he was six years old. So just stay where you at, man. Number three, Oklahoma. That's all I got is three words for you. Black Wall Street. Sad. Number two, Arkansas. Hell no, nah, that's where the Grand Wizards stay. Look, you stay far away. They active out there. But then again, who the hell would want to go to Arkansas anyway? And number one forever in a million years, Mississippi. Y'all send Brett Favre to jail, man.